Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Meters. I wanted to do a video that I haven't really done um, in the past, basically. And this is more of an introduction to how you how you can play like old school games. So think of games like back made in the 1990s or later 1990s, or early 2000s that had LAN play or IPX, network play, but you can't really play those games uh, anymore these days. And, or it's harder to actually. But not only in 2021, but also trying to find people to play those old games online too. So when I talk about old games, I'm thinking like Duke Nukem and Sin and SimCity and you know, those kind of games, that kind of genres and stuff like that. So basically there's a Discord out there. It's not my Discord, but I recently found it um, by a, a user, you know, Giraffe. Uh, his name is, is gone by, or Chaotic Giraffe as well. But basically bottom line is there's a, there's a Discord out there where they host events, um, trying to get as many gamers as possible to, to play a lot of these old school games online. And there's a lot of different methods of doing so. You know, a lot of these people, they like to use like real hardware, like old school hardware. And I'm talking like Pentium 1, 2, 3s, you know, that kind of hardware. Or you don't have that old hardware, you can use a virtual machine like a virtual box or PCM is what it's called to emulate these old hardware and then run like Windows 98 or Windows 1000 in there. So recently, uh, the other day, Sunday, actually, we had an event where we had a long list of games that, that we were trying to test. I was not there the whole time because the whole event was like nine hours long. I was only there for a short period of time, but I was able to play Doom and Jet Moto and this other game called Battlespire, which um, I could not get it working for the, for the life of me at that particular time. But here you can see some examples of some games that we had intended. So Doom, Duke Nukem 3D, Need for Speed 1, um, Special Edition I think it's called, Death Drone, Jet Moto, Battlespire, Unreal Tournament, Serious Sam, SimCity 2000, Network Edition, Monster Truck Madness, Sin, Chris and Metal 2, Microsoft Golf 99, Sonic R. So basically, I'll have a link in the real description. You can see, uh, you know, join the Discord. They have events every once in a while, or officially and unofficially as well. There is a game events FAQ. It tells you how to get started, basically. And um, this was a good guide for me because I was brand new to it. And I got figured out in about, I don't know, like less than an hour, basically, once everything is up and running. So how's it work? Um, so basically, I have PCM. So PCM, like I said, is like an emulator of, of old hardware. And then inside the program here, you can install Kali. So that's what I did. And also install some old school games, which I also did. And in the future, um, you know, I'm sure they're gonna play a lot of games. Uh, Made the list and it won't be such as long, but we have a list of games that had is known to work. They're also testing games to see what also works. So if there's a favorite game that you used to play as a kid or something, and you want to play it online, relive those memories, because there's no remake or something these days. Um, I think the group would be very interested to help you test it out. Like I was a big fan of like this old school game called Interstate 76. I don't know anybody to play it, but you know, I think we can play it here. As an example, everyone's pretty open because we're all, you know, gamers at heart basically. So how it works is you join Kali, right? You have the Kali program, scan your hard drive or virtual hard drive for the games you have installed that it does recognize. So here are some example games I have installed here on the bottom. So you join the Kali Central as a chat server. Everybody else joins the same Kali Central. And then from there, let's say you make a lobby. So for a game that has a lobby, you can go games, create a lobby. And then you can say, let's say I'm interested in Tristan Metal 2 today. So you go here, do your settings, whatnot. And then this comes up, everybody joins this particular, this window. Once everybody's ready, and then you click on this button here, the play button, and you start the game. And then inside the game, go to the multiplayer section and it should be obvious if someone's hosting a game already or not, and you can join that game and have a lot of good time. So games um, that do not require this, um, you can run outside the Kali program. Um, there are other games that are more modern that can work without running inside a virtual machine. So like as an example, Unreal Tournament or Serious Sam, they work on Windows 10. Um, you can install Kali in Windows 10, it works fine. There's no need to run inside an emulator unless you wish, I suppose. And all these games, they work on old school hardware, like I said, original, real hardware. But I don't have that, so um, I just have to use the emulator for those games that don't work on modern Windows, because, you know, 64-bit, the game is like 16-bit, it ain't gonna run, right? So in terms of lag, um, there's not much lag that I noticed. I guess it depends on where you live, location-wise. And I'm gonna play just real quick two gameplay footage videos I was able to record the other day. I do want to apologize uh, the sound was not working. The recording of the sound was not working. I was using Op Studio. Not sure because I was on Discord at the same time talking to the guys or whatnot. But I'm just going to flip through this real quick here. Basically, in this particular example, I was searching for a game and there's four people available. So Doom. 
supports four players apparently, which was the max at the time. If you want to have more players, you gotta try a different game like Duke Nukem 3D. I think that holds like eight players, for example, and other games I think can, can host more players here. So I, I do apologize, like I said, you, I can't hear the game sounds, the sounds or the music, so it probably does not give this gameplay video footage any justice, but I will say that I did have a lot of good times because I have never played Doom uh, online or, or local LAN with other people, um, like ever, like even as a kid, I, I think I played a lot of single player or something, but I never played online. So that, I think it was very cool, you know, if you sort of grew up with these kind of games or newer games in that era, to play online or play with other gamers that have similar interests. I think that's a lot of fun. And yes, yeah, yeah, you could, I know there's mods out there. You can take Doom and other games and play it on modern Windows systems. But if you have that, you just want to play the original old school games that was, was originally intended. Yeah, this might be one good way of doing it. So this clip is sort of rather long, but just me running around with the rocket launcher, just killing people and, getting, and dying myself as well. The second game that I tried, um, during the limited time I had the other day was a uh, jet modal. So this is the second game. It's like a, a, what do you call it? Like a jet ski game, single track, same guys. I made Twisted Metal 2, Twisted Metal 1, for example. And um, what the beauty behind Kali is it can, it allows the IPX connection to work using these, uh, you know, real hardware or the, or the emulator hardware as well. IPX is not available for Windows 10. So that's one way of playing some of these old school games online as well. Now this game gave me some issues in the beginning for joining, I'm not sure why, so it might be a coincidence, but I changed my name to a shorter name, and then eventually I was able to join the game, and then you can go ahead and select your racer, or yeah, and then just, just wait to play. Now this one I didn't really know the controls that well, so I was, and I was, I was warned that this was like one of the more difficult maps, I guess, in this game, so I was crashing all over the place, and I didn't do so well, I, but I will, I will say that I did enjoy it. I did enjoy the game. I did remember playing this on PlayStation 1. I haven't really played it on PC before. And using a keyboard is a little bit tough, but I think you'll get the hang of it after a while. So that's the idea. Now the graphics, hey, the graphics are what it is, you know, back then. And I don't know if this video recording gives it justice, but it seemed to be pretty smooth. It seemed to be working okay inside the emulator. Um, so I didn't have really have any real issues with that. And like I said, I'm sure that the sounds and the music will sound much better in person than what I'm saying right now here in this video recording. So, and then the last game, I don't have any video footage because I couldn't get the game to work. We were trying to do Battle Spire and the game just would not work that well for me. But I got working then, but I had to leave. But the guys kept on going. Like I said, I think the stream I was looking at it later was clocked in at nine hours. So I'll have a link to that stream if any of you guys are interested. But I know that the team here or the gamers in this, in this Discord, they're gonna host more events you know, whether it's on the weekends or daily events, whatnot. So it just sort of depends. And if you guys wish you want to join, um, go ahead and join. I, I, you might even see me there from time to time. We have a lot of players, both from, you know, the USA and also internationally as well. So don't be afraid to hop on. Um, I would think that sometimes the game events, they might try to make in such a time that could work well for, for most people. But, you know, I, I, I'm just a new user here. So I'm sort of learning as I go here. But I, what I do know is there's a lot of old school games that they're testing, have tested, it's just a game that you want to play, looking for people to play. I think you can suggest it to the Discord over here. you will be more than willing to help you out, set up the game, test the game, and ultimately have a lot of good time. So that's today's quick video. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.